I guess I'll start with these sideways ones that came out. Some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are too bright. If you want something, go get it. So somebody could be admiring you, thinking you're beautiful, they're great, um, you know, or that you're great. They could be thinking that you're great. Something could be coming um, unexpectedly. Someone could be coming towards you because they're ready to come and get it. It's like they're tired. Someone's tired of waiting for their opportunity. Nobody puts baby in the corner in the reverse. Hi, I'm Chuck. You want to play? So somebody was playing games with you, trying to keep you isolated, possibly trying to find um, love or relationship or happiness, even possibly contentment being on your own. Go ahead and make my day. Someone took this as if it were a challenge. With great power comes great responsibility. Someone abused their power. These are all in the reverse. <laughs> I will not be intimidated. So someone tried to intimidate you to try to force their will upon you, possibly to keep you single, stuck, stagnant. It's like they wanted you isolated, alone, in a corner. Like, all oh, these are in the reverse. I'll have what she's having. So somebody didn't want what you were having. Um, they didn't want to see eye to eye with you. I'm the captain now. So someone was trying to be the captain of your life, steer your life in the direction that they wanted for you. But that's not obviously what's going to happen because divine, femme, or masculine. Somebody, you're just too beautiful. No, but no one can keep you trapped. No one can keep you caged. Somebody loves you or is at least admiring you. Um, someone feels smitten with you and they're ready to take some sort of action. So someone's going to be taking some sort of action here. Possibly express how they feel. They may have been keeping this hidden, or maybe it's been a secret how they feel about you. Maybe they were nervous to approach you or scared. Um, they could have been unsure about how you were going to react to their, um, you know, <laughs> confession that they have to tell you. I don't suffer insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. So someone may be questioning their sanity. Um, it's like, um, would this be a smart move? Am I insane for doing this, for saying this, for speaking it? Someone may be taking a leap of faith by doing this. Um, there might be someone who's not thinking clearly or they feel like maybe they're uh, at a crossroads with a decision. It's like someone could be struggling with making the decision on coming towards you and speaking this truth. So we have off in the reverse. Take my advice. I'm not using it a hypocrite. So someone could be feeling hypocritical or they may be viewed as a, hy a hypocrite if they take some sort of action. The squeaky wheel gets the grease, but there's something that's nagging at them. They have to take some sort of action. So there may be something that's holding them back from speaking the truth. Um, they may come across as hypocritical. You know, it's kind of like the practice, what you preach things. So somebody may be struggling with, um, like going against their own advice that they would give somebody else. Like maybe someone would be telling someone to walk away. It's not worth it. Um, don't take this risk. But it's like they can't get away from it. It's like it's almost driving them crazy. Not speaking out about it. He or she wanted a serious relationship and I'm a funny guy or girl. So something could have been non-committal. Um, or somebody, somebody was in a committed relationship. So that could be a barrier that's standing in someone's path is possibly that they um, are dealing with someone else. So they may not technically be single. Remember, don't insult the alligator until you get across the river. So someone's trying not to be insulting, insult your intelligence, possibly your belief system, what you believe in, or even possibly their own. Finishing what I did yesterday. So someone may need to wrap something up or finish something up before they can come towards you. And they're keeping a secret. They're keeping something in the dark. There's something that's being hidden. And they could be struggling with this decision on how to proceed. So 
someone views you as like their manifestation or you are manifesting, tell the universe exactly what you want. Someone feels like you may be like their dream come true. There is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in the reverse. So this person may be connected to an air sign in some sort of way. Um, friend, family member, spouse, you know, lover, you know, whatever. Um, this person wants you to open up your heart. Open your heart. It will help you. It will help you attract more love. This person's heart has been open to you, and they, they're hoping that these feelings are reciprocated. It's like they're scared that if they open up to you, maybe you don't feel the same way that they do. Somebody is like dying to speak something. It's like they're, they're really struggling with telling you something and expressing their emotions or how they feel but they're they're afraid about how it's going to be received and there could be barriers something may have to be kept hidden or something is being kept hidden possibly because they're afraid of the repercussions or the outcome of what it you know this decision that they're leaning towards may be I'm definitely getting that someone is, like, torn or struggling with a decision that, you know, they're trying to make. Somebody may not have had a safe place to go. So something may have been shocking about someone not having a safe place to go. Um, this person may want to help you out in some kind of way. It's like they want you to open up your heart. Um, you may be wanting someone to open up their heart or be caring or compassionate, but somebody didn't have peace and they didn't have a safe space to go. And this could have been shocking to someone that maybe they didn't have a safe place to go. And this person could be feeling protective or wanting to be helpful. Um, they may have a solution, but they're, they may not be sure if you're open to this. someone has been brainstorming it's like they've been brainstorming on how to approach you with a possible offer possibly about giving you a safe place to go or somewhere where you will feel safe someone sees you as their wish fulfillment it's like you're the person of their dreams or they feel like you are the person of their dreams or like you're a wish come true maybe they've been praying for somebody like you to come into their life or praying for the opportunity to be near you or um have just one night with you somebody has been feeling um like intimate feelings or having feelings of wanting to be intimate with another person So there was an unsuccessful relationship and not a positive outcome regarding someone who is disrupting your peace or trying to cause problems with your peace. This person may have been shocked to find out, you know, if this person is connected to somebody that you were in a relationship with or if they knew them, they may have been shocked to find out that somebody was trying to be sneaky or stealthy about disrupting your peace or stopping you, trying to stop you from having a safe place to go. There's someone here who is a flying monkey. So there is a flying monkey. There is someone here who's trying to stop you from achieving your peace. And they're very sad. There could be a couple people here who are sad or going to be sad. When a secret is come out or a secret is revealed, someone sees you as their wish fulfillment. It's like they've been wishing on a star. Like they really have been trying to manifest you. And there's going to be a reason to celebrate. But it may not make a couple people happy about the celebration or you having a safe place to go. So someone was kind of cold-hearted, um, and they were trying to place barriers in your path, possibly to keep you stuck. Maybe they thought you were going to be stuck. But there could have been really um, something shocking that this person discovered, possibly that you're not stuck, that you're not stagnant, that you're not frozen. Um, somebody may have tried to make you appear like you were heartless or cold, like callous, or that you were like vindictive or spiteful. So someone may be hesitant about coming towards you because they might be afraid that if they express how they feel, you might um, do something to react like out of spite or vengeance. Like if you become upset 
Like maybe someone's afraid that you have a temper or something because someone said you did. The challenge here is someone who you were in a past relationship with or didn't, or someone that didn't have an, you know, um, a good relationship or didn't offer you love um, is finding out that you have offers. And someone may not be happy about someone who wants to come towards you and make you an offer. Or possibly that you have offers because someone wanted you alone and isolated. And they didn't want you to have love. Um, somebody was vind very vindictive and spiteful towards you. It's like, well, if, you, if they don't want to be in a relationship with me, they're not going to be in a relationship with anybody kind of thing. Or maybe you were in a relationship with them and it didn't work out. They could have ghosted you. They could have moved on. You could have moved on. Whatever the situation is here, they're not happy about you receiving offers and someone expressing how they feel about you. You're protected. And somebody also wants to protect you by giving you a safe place to go. Peace. Somebody wants to be your peace. They could see you as the official person, or this could be a masculine who is an official person. And somebody who is trying to stop this person from coming towards you, or stop anyone from possibly coming towards you. Assume the attitude. So someone doesn't care. Someone may be getting an attitude. Like if there's um, a disagreement, like if this is a friend or family member of somebody that you were in a relationship with or something like that, someone may just be like, you know what? I don't care what you think. This person needs help. I want to help this person out. Something like that. But they could know someone or be connected to the person that you were in a relationship with that did not work out. That, you know, wasn't very loving or caring to you. Someone was watching you online, spying. They lost their grip. They could have lost their cool here. Um, they may be struggling and they may be upset to know that you have people that want to come into a, a relationship with you. This can also be the person that wants to come towards you and express their feelings. Um, they could have been like climbing the walls to know that, um, you know, they may miss out on their opportunity to be with you or shoot their shot. Like, someone is, is wanting it bad, okay? Someone is willing to take the leap. They they want to take this leap. Like, they're thirsting. They're, you know, it's like they're hungry. Like, it's like they're going crazy because they want it so bad. It's like they want it so bad they can taste it kind of energy. Um, but we have whatever in the reverse. So, somebody who, you know, from your past that was very nonchalant, not caring... You know, they didn't really care to be bothered with you. They didn't help you out. Um, you know, they might not be happy about this, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they weren't motivated. I can, but I won't. This person who wants to come towards you kind of may be your opposite, like opposites may attract, or this person may be opposite or different from the person that you were with or that knows this person or that's connected to this person that was trying to, you know, C-block you. Somebody really doesn't want something being exposed. Someone is like really hiding something and it's about he who hesitates is hungry. Like it's like they're trying to keep this hidden. It's like they're trying to keep their feelings put back. But um, this person is so hungry for you um, and they're afraid about hesitating. Like the whole dam is about to burst open and something is just going to come flooding out. Someone can't handle it anymore. They, it's like... It's eating them up by not saying something or expressing this to you. You're at peace. Someone may not be able to understand how you're calm and at peace because somebody was trying to foil your plans. If, you know, this involves you not taking care of yourself or doing some sort of spell work. Somebody wanted you to be greedy. Someone could have wanted you to be, like, overeating. Um, somebody could have been greedy, um, like a bottomless pit, maybe the person that you were with. So somebody could have been like, you know, very greedy. It's like they wanted you to give to them, but they didn't want to give anything back to you. So there was not an equal give and take with the person that you were in a relationship with in the past or whoever this is that's not going to be happy with you. <clears throat> somebody was very greedy. 
and they wanted to keep you all to themselves, but they didn't want to treat you how you needed to be treated or how you deserved to be treated, which is, you know, that's kind of on them, right? They missed the boat. They missed the, the opportunity. So we have a message or a messenger and an emperor in the reverse. So there could have been an emperor that was upset about some sort of message. Or uh, maybe they tried to send a message and it was blocked. You have a decision to make. There's a crossroads here for a star. Someone who has divine protection. Yeah, someone was rushing in with some sort of communication. It's like somebody wanted to keep stringing you along to stop you. It's like they saw that you had offers coming in. So they could have tried to, you know, um, rush in with some sort of communication really quickly to, you know, once again reattach a cord that may have already been cut because the cycle has ended with that person. So you closed out a cycle. And, you know, the challenge is, is this person was emotionally unbalanced, you know, they, they made emotional decisions, they could have, you know, been very immature and childish, and they could have left you out in the cold, and the challenge for them is you're coming out of the cold, they expected you to be stuck, left out in the cold, and not have a way out without peace, without a safe place, and they wanted to stop you from moving forward or traveling, um, especially hooking up with anybody else, because they were trying to dominate you. <clears throat> Someone's pissed about something being balanced out and justice being restored for you. This emperor could be pissed off about this. So you may be, um, you know, struggling with poverty. Um, you know, the star here may be struggling with some poverty. Because this person, this emperor, could have cost you your job, your legacy, you know, your life's calling, your life's work. Um, so, you know, you could have been struggling with finances possibly because like every time you get a job or something this asshole keeps like coming in trying to get you fired or put out or something like that it's like they try to disrupt your work and keep you you know try to stop you from being able to work but you're the queen of pentacles here so it's like you're going from the page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles you're already in your queen of pentacles energy because that's just your energy that you carry um, just because you're struggling financially a little bit doesn't mean you're not good with m budgeting or money management or something like that. You could be working towards running your own business or starting your own business because then someone can't interfere with you and what you do. Yeah, someone made a decision to try to stop you from traveling or moving and they're not moving on to calmer water. So somebody made a decision to intentionally affect your employment or your career path or whatever you were trying to work on and so they're not moving on to calmer waters if, if they expected if they were greedy if they were bottomless pit and they expected to get something from you but they were getting you fired like say they wanted money or something like that like child support whatever um and then they turn around and get you fired it's like then they want to keep you like restarting over and over again and you may have said you know what motherfucker if you don't want me to work but you want money, okay, um, then I'm just not going to work. I'm just going to do something on my own. I'm just going to start something that you can't get, you know, me fired from. You have a victory. Someone's been spying, watching. There could be an investigation of some sort, but you have a victory. Something's going to go in your favor for the Queen of Pentacles. You know, somebody wanted you to lose your financial security and your ability to support your family or finances. This person could have been a thief. They could have taken a ten of pentacles or tried to stop you from gaining a ten of pentacles. Like, they didn't want you to have a happy family. They wanted you to be juggling constantly. someone has matured someone has grown up this could be you you know there's a transformation someone has matured someone has grown up and you're moving on to calmer waters and you could you know possibly have someone that wants to love on you and help you get this ten of pentacles um a lot of times i look at this as a karmic situation so you may have um 
a karmic person that wants to help you gain this Ten of Pentacles. Um, this could be a lover who wants to help you gain a Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone that you've known for a long time or maybe has watched you grow up. It doesn't have to be a karmic. A lot of times I look at that as a karmic situation or relationship because of the lovers. You know, it's not necessarily a committed relationship, but it also depends on what you want out of life. Maybe you're not interested in, you know, getting married or something at this time. Um, maybe you're looking for something more, um, I don't know, casual, I guess. I don't know. But you're going to get the offer you've been wanting or that you've been waiting for, and financial balance is going to be restored. So this person, um, someone, you know, has watched you grow or go through a transformation and they want to help you move on to calmer waters and they want to help you gain financial stability and security for your family. Because they see you juggling and it's time for a new cycle. Somebody was uneducated here about the seeds they planted or trying to stop you from planting seeds. With a page of swords, someone lied to try to stop some sort of seeds from being planted, possibly to stop someone from helping you when you needed help. But there is somebody that you were connected to. There is a karmic that is going to witness you gaining your financial security, your your stability. It's like someone's going to literally be sitting there watching you move on to calmer waters. And they may not like it, but... It is what it is. I mean, it's not up to them to control your life. There was a Queen of Swords energy who wanted, you know, to be left alone or wanted you to be alone in isolation. Um, a challenge for them is you could have been in your Queen of Swords energy while you were in isolation. And so, you know, you were cutting people off left and right. There could have also been somebody who was being dishonest to keep someone in isolation. Somebody who was lying. There's a jealous feminine energy here who was not held in high honor. And they could have been doing something intentionally to affect your financial stability. So there's a feminine energy who is emotionally unstable, unbalanced. So this could be someone who is connected to like an ex of yours. This could have been someone that your ex like remarried or something like that. Uh, but you have money coming towards you. And this is a message of concern for somebody. So someone's getting a message of concern here. Someone is not liking what they are hearing about this money coming towards you and you gaining stability and some sort of secrets being exposed. You could also be coming into union with a divine counterpart or working with someone with the moon card. So someone may kind of reveal a secret, possibly that they want to secretly work with you. Um, this could be the person that wants to reveal some sort of feelings or emotions. There may be a soul tie or a soul connection here. Um, and I'm not talking about the person that you were in a relationship. I'm talking about this person that wants to help bring you stability, calmness, and peace into your life. But it is a message of concern that somebody wants to partner up with you and help you out and work with you. And some sort of secret about this could be coming out or being revealed. Because someone wants to work with you, but they want to do it secretly. With the Seven of Swords, if someone's being stealthy and they want to keep something a secret or hush-hush, possibly about working with you, and um, someone could be finding out about this or it's going to be exposed or brought to light, and this could be a message of concern for somebody. Yeah, somebody was very evil here. Someone who was not held in high honor. Somebody was trying to cause some drama here. So if, like, this person is connected to your ex, if this Queen of Cups is, like, in a relationship with your ex, somebody that you were in a relationship with, they could have been trying to cause you drama. Like, if they, you know, you're, if you were in a child custody battle, something like that, and they wanted your kid so that you'd have to pay them support, or I don't know, whatever the case is. This female was jealous of you. They wanted to cause drama for you. They could have been looking into something like spying on you to see if you were hooking up with your ex and you, you know, maybe you weren't, maybe you were, whatever. Um, I feel like you were not. Um, but whoever this is that wants to come towards you is connected to your ex in some sort of way. So by this person digging into something, looking into something, they may have discovered that you were connected to someone else that is connected to your ex. And so this person just being a bitch could have exposed this to try to be a pain in the ass. And this could cause a whole shit storm of issues for someone, I'm not going to lie. Um, because whatever, um, you know, someone's trying to be quiet and move stealthy. 
and you know their business is their business and there's another feminine energy here or a feminine whether you're man or woman but there is a feminine energy here who's sticking their nose in your business where it does not belong and um they're gonna pull some slick shit so just be careful i mean it's your life it's your you know if you're single you know whatever it's your business um, even if you wanted to date someone casually or whatever, that's your business or whatever the situation is. If somebody wanted to help you out secretly without the whole world knowing about it, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk going on because someone wanted to steal something from you. Someone was being sneaky here with the Seven of Swords. So there could be a lot of talk, gossip about someone moving in silence or being sneaky. This can also be um, the Queen of Cups who is being stealthy and sneaky about trying to steal something from you. But you have strength, you know, you have the courage to get through this. You know, you don't worry about what other people say, what other people do. You just mind your business, you don't care. Yeah, somebody wanted you left out in the cold, so they were trying to steal something from you, so you'd be left out in the cold, so they started running their mouth after being in your business to cause you problems and so they didn't want someone to help you but someone's going to communicate with you um and this is a jealous ass queen of wands who is not a natural born leader it's like they're not happy with their life but they want to steal what you know what you have what you got even if it's none of their business Yeah, someone didn't want you to be able to grow, manifest, be abundant. You've healed from a heartbreak because you're strong. So you've healed, okay? You could be a healer. You could know how to heal yourself, heal others. But um, someone here that wanted to be a thief wanted to stop you from having abundance because they possibly didn't want... They could have been afraid your ex was going to come back towards you or some shit. Like, this person is so insecure and jealous. And this has nothing to even do with your ex. Like, you're not even communicating with your ex. Like, everything could be, you know, platonic on the up and up and that... But this person's still sticking their nose in your business and maybe trying to expose, like, maybe who you are talking to, who you are dealing with. And it's no one, you know, like, you know, that's, if you want to keep something quiet, that's your business. You're manifesting and someone else is manifesting you too. And you're innocent. So it's like someone loves your innocence. They adore you. You're going to get your manifestations because you're innocent. You do things from a heart space of love. You're not doing something out of vindictus vindictiveness or spite and you're going to receive a message here and it's going to help set you free from this negative situation luck is on your side with the wheel of fortune here and this bitch cannot stand it this queen of wands in the reverse cannot stand this because they don't have a victory so if you win if you win and they feel like luck is on your side then they lose that's their challenge They're like that's their problem but that's the baggage that they carry that has nothing to do with you so someone took some sort of swift action to betray you, and they didn't, they're not going to have a positive outcome here. So like I said, something's going to happen. There's a bitch who's going to be doing some slick shit here. Someone's going to have to reflect. So there's a message that someone has taken a moment to pause and reflect about what action they want to take. Whatever action this crazy-ass feminine is going to take, this karmic femme, playing in your energy, they're going to bring a tower moment. There's going to be a king of pentacles here who could end up being a wounded warrior being injured because this king of pentacles could be wanting to go towards a divine femme to help them out, partner up with them. They may have feelings for them, but whatever action they're going to take, it's not going, I mean, it could hurt a lot of people, like, but it's not, this person just does shit for the wrong reasons. They're trying to expose a betrayal or send a message of a betrayal. They're going to take some sort of action regarding a betrayal. They're going to stick in their nose where it does not fucking belong. So th this person thought that you were communicating with, you know, your past love, something that was not, on, you know, a successful relationship. Um, there could be some sort of communication about somebody who is in an unsuccessful, unhappy relationship, and they could be trying to get out. So... You know, there could be a third party situation going on. Um, someone could be trying to sort out their feelings and emotions about getting out of a relationship or a situation, something like that. And that's between 
you know, whoever it's between and the divine, the God, you know, God, whatever. Like, that's their business. People need to stay out of your fucking business. Whatever you do, and I don't care if you think this person's being a karmic, doing what. It's none of your fucking business what this person's doing and what they're up to. So keep your nose in your own backyard. Whoever this is, whoever this karmic female is that's about to start a shit storm here. They're not moving on to calmer waters because they're trying to stop someone from moving, from traveling. They're trying to stop something from changing for a divine femme or masculine. And they're really just being a pain in everyone's ass. Because whatever they're going to do, it's going to hurt a lot of people. Where it has the potential to hurt someone, especially this King of Pentacles, who's the wounded warrior here. Someone did something based on their emotions here. So there's a Queen of Wands here who's... A, a, a practitioner and they're all up in their feelings about you having a happy stable family life they're upset and you know all up in their emotions because they could feel like you're threatening their happiness or their home And they're upset because somebody is admiring you and possibly wants to have a happy ending with you or have a family with you. This Queen of Wands is worried about it. So they could have been doing some magic spell work or something out of emotions. Something is backfiring. And when I say spell work, it could just be them running their mouth. But this person's pissed because you have a love offer with the Ace of Cups coming towards you. And somebody wants to, like, have, you know... Somebody is really having loving feelings towards you. And this person did some slick shit with some communication. Whether it was communicating with someone or exposing a communication. Something like that. But this, this, love, this love offer, this Ace of Cups is still coming towards you. But this Queen of Cups is... Um, she's in the upright, but that doesn't mean she's in the upright. It just means that she's in your energy. So somehow she's connected to you possibly currently at, at this time. You have communication coming in, and this is going to help you move forward. It's going to get something move, moving. You could be taking a journey. You could be traveling. Somebody could be wanting to travel towards you with this offer. Because they see your strength and courage and your perseverance. And there's going to be a reason to celebrate. This communication is going to make you very happy. There's going to be happy times, good times regarding this ace of cups situation but this queen of wands is just being really shady with how she's doing shit <sighs> queen of swords this is an ice queen this person's cold-hearted like they were trying to stop this offer from coming towards you maybe because you are a natural born leader so while you would be you know, the Queen of Wands in the upright, this person would be like the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and, you know, you're a natural born leader, and somebody sees this about you, and th so this person lied to someone to try to get them to not come forward you and make you an offer. <sighs> Charges could be filed on someone here. Someone could have tried to file charges on your true love or your true love. Someone could be, yeah. Someone's true love could have charges filed against them. So someone could have had accusations or have been arrested or something like that. Um, somebody could be wanting to file charges. But someone thinks it's no big deal here. Um, that the consequences are not serious. So someone could have tried to put charges on someone who could be your true love. And they really feel like this is not serious, that there's not going to be consequences um, for what they did. But they pissed off everyone when they did this. So they're going to piss off a lot of people when they do this. They could have tried to file <clears throat> charges against you. Um, so your true love would not come towards you. Um, you need patience. Wait a little longer. So just be patient. Something is being worked out.
someone was lonely. They acted alone in the reverse. They were meeting up with someone secretly. They needed to proceed with caution, and someone is be help, helping behind the scenes. So, someone could have been involved with someone. Um, you know, they acted alone. They were meeting up with someone secretly. Um, they, maybe they were involved with someone. Someone could be single, but they were just lonely, and there was a meeting up of someone with someone, and something was being done cautiously, and this person is trying to help them. And someone created a whole shit storm out of nothing because someone was genuinely trying to help someone. They may have been keeping secret feelings from everybody, but like I said, once again, it's nobody's business. Um, somebody was just being arrogant. This could be a distance relationship. This could be, um, you know, someone who is at a distance from you. It's like, you know, you and this person may have some shit to sort out, but that's between you and this person. Someone didn't have a clue. They didn't want to bury the hatchet. They just wanted to cause you problems. So that your ex wouldn't come towards you or some stupid shit. Someone's going to lose everything but the kitchen sink, or this is what they want for you. Somebody thought something was cute, and they're going to have to eat their words. So something is going to blow up on this person who didn't want to bury the hatchet. They didn't want to let something go. They didn't have any idea about the consequences of their actions because they thought what they were doing was cute. It's like, hey, hey, like there's no consequences for me, like ruining someone's life, uh, possibly multiple people's lives. And, um, you know, someone could be crying when they lose everything, a far cry. So someone could be upset when they pull this little bullshit, okay? Someone could be upset. There could be a separation here um, because you are the big man on campus. You are the king or queen of wands in the upright. You are like a natural born leader and you are the stuff dreams are made out of and someone sees that about you. So someone could be crying that someone sees you as that way. They could be upset, especially if like your ex, you know, um, sees you happy with somebody else, it may trigger some, you know, feelings within themselves that they're not going to like, but an Aquarius could be significant. Somebody thinks something is all fun and games, so it could be an Aquarius who thinks something is all fun and games, but it's not. It's really not. There could be a Sagittarius that's significant, a Gemini in September. And March could be significant, so someone's birthday could be in September or March, um, or that could have been, you know, dates or months of significant events that occurred. Once again, an Aquarius is coming out, so an Aquarius is significant here. Or Aquarius season is significant. Someone's pissed off. Am I pissing you off or pissed off? So an Aquarius could be pissed off or they're going to be pissed off. Possibly in the 20, next 24 hours or within 24 hours, past or future. Um, someone was not a good kind soul. So somebody did some shit in the last 24 hours. Or was snooping around in the last 24 hours. They missed the boat. So they missed the boat on something. Someone's not looking back. You have a victory here. Whoever's in the upright here, justice is blind. So, you know, sometimes other people don't like the way justice is being balanced out or karma is being balanced out in other people's lives. But once again, it's none of their business. Okay. They didn't want to see the light. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. But that's not their business. Your business is not their business. Someone's playing the field here. Or somebody could be accused of playing the field. Something is easier said than done. Um, or as easy as one, two, three. So, um, you know, somebody wanting to play the field or attempting to play the field here, it may be easier said than done. There may be some complications regarding this, this situation. Somebody could have gotten exposed. That could have been what this person was trying to expose. Somebody who may have been communicating with a third party or something like that. Once again, they need to mind their business. I mean, they don't know if this person has, like, an open relationship or whatever. Like, this person, you know, if you don't know all the details, first of all, 
there's a reason you're supposed to keep your nose in your own backyard. Second of all, you know, you don't know the circumstances or what people are going through or the details. And you're not supposed to because it's none of your business. So don't go starting shit. Aries could be significant. Thick as thieves. So someone is as thick as thieves here. Possibly with an Aries and a Pisces. So there could be an Aries and a Pisces that are thick as thieves. Someone's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Someone knows that something is going to be blowing up or being exposed or you know it's like they could be waiting for this person to express how they feel or something like that someone wants to live under the same roof as another person here so there could be something significant regarding um you know people living under the same roof someone may not like this You know, maybe someone's in a poly relationship or something like that. I don't know. Someone was being avoided like the plague. There's an Aquarius here that, you know, either learned the lessons or someone learned their lessons regarding an Aquarius. And that's the third time Aquarius has come out. So there's something definitely significant about an Aquarius. So air signs, pretty heavy in this reading. Um, we've had some fire signs water sign it's like we got a little bit of everything going on in here but definitely aquarius something's being balanced out okay somebody thought that they were going to get some sort of accolade or recognition every dog has its day in the reverse so you know somebody that you've been avoiding like the plague thought that they were going to get something some sort of recognition or something off of your name off of your business and they thought that they had you backed up against the wall. Someone's backing themselves up against the wall because they tried to give you the kiss of death. Someone's just like, eh, it is what it is. Like, you just... Someone you loved and lost, Aries. Like, the person that you were in a relationship may not as care as much as whoever they're partnered up with. Like, whatever secret's being exposed, like, they just don't give a shit. Like, your ex doesn't care if you're screwing with someone that they know. Because they're married, they're fine. Like, they're trying to work on their relationship with this psycho bitch who's obsessed with you. I mean, make it make sense. <gasps> whatever you're doing with somebody else, whether it's their friend, relative, whatever. Like, it's none of their business. And they're sticking their nose in your shit. And this person, like, your ex doesn't even care. Like, your ex is not the one that's really concerned about all this. It's whoever your ex is attached to because they're afraid you're going to hook back up with your ex and that's not even what's in the situation here. It's a feminine energy that's causing all this chaos for you. Jesus. <laughs> Please make this make sense. Oh my God. N could be significant. Person, place, or thing. Yeah, and I damn near need a drink after this shit. R... This is just nuts, man. People just... I can't stand people that are always in everyone else's business. X. Mind your own. I can't stand that shit for real. B. I had a K in my hand. K. O. Someone could be from the Bronx. B-R-O-N, wait, B-R-O-N-X, so Bronx could be significant, O. G. Another N, I'll do one more. And R, so I'm getting double letters, so let me see here. We have two N's, two R's, two O's, X, G, B, and K. I hope this helps. Have a good day.